What's up everyone? Evan with a Family Overland Adventure here down in Baja. Thought it was time to do a full walk around of our setup with the Tundra and the Turtleback trailer. Um, people been asking about it. Thought we'd put something up on YouTube. Um, you have any questions or ideas or comments, hit us up. Uh, love to chat with everybody and love ideas. So I guess we'll start with the truck since it's right here. Right on, so the truck is a 2016 TRD Pro Tundra. Um, let's talk about wheels, tires, suspension first. So wheels, we have uh, Icon Alloy 17 inch um, with BFG KO2s. Um, they're 35 by 12 and a half, so 315, 70, 17. Um, underneath we got Icon Stage 9 with uh, Icon 2.5 adjustable reservoirs in the front with uh, tubular UCAs, uh, upper control arms. In the back, basically the same setup. Let's go check it out. In the back, same thing, 2.5 inch reservoirs, adjustables, and the, uh, I think it's RTX or RXT leaf packs from Icon as well. Also underneath a full size spare, same wheel and tire setup. All right, I think we'll start from the front, work our way back. So all around, we got C4 bumpers. Up front, we got the Overland Edition with the bull bar. Um, Baja Designs LP6s mounted on top. Rough Country D-rings. We got a Warren Xeon VR 10,000-pound uh, winch with a Rough Country line. Factor 55, fair lead, and hook. We got Baja Design Squadrons and the XL linkable sport lights up top in amber. Cut down the fogs. Up on the roof, we got a front runner slimline two roof rack, which we actually cut shorter so that we could fit the go fast camper, which we'll talk about in a second. So we had to chop it, shorten it. Around the sides, we have an ax mount on one side and on the other side we got a shovel mount um, on this side easy access they just clip in and out um, the boxes are pelican cargo boxes we have two different sizes the medium and the large um, those are actually locked with a mounting system into the roof rack so they can't be taken we have a front runner 11 gallon jerry can with a nozzle mounted straight on the rack Pretty rad. So to get up to the roof rack makes it easier. We just got this little step that hooks on. Pretty straightforward. One step up and we are up on the roof. Now we can access all our Pelican boxes. Pretty easy. Cool, so let's talk about the Go Fast Camper. Super lightweight camper, secure, sturdy. I said the slot rail system on the side for mounting everything. So you got your ladder mount with their mantis claw. On the side, we bolted in a Expedition Essentials Max Tracks mount. So easy to get our Max Tracks out for leveling or if we ever get in trouble. Up here, I can go up, go fast camper. We've got 350 watts of solar, Renogy. We've got uh, multiple rack bars. Um, and this is where we normally, with the Stratchet Wraps mount, our paddleboard. One gallon gas tank of premix gas for our chainsaw. And then our WeBoost is mounted to the Go Fast, our WeBoost antenna, right into the slot system. We got the drip rail and our Baja uh, scene lights for at night front, and then our chase lights on the back. All right, now that we talked about on the roof, let's talk about on the side. We got a Darch 180 awning um, that's actually connected straight to the Go Fast Camper. Go Fast Camper, pretty amazing, super lightweight, strong. It's held up through everything we've thrown at it. Um, 
both these, uh, all three side panel. There's two side panels in the back, kind of go wing out, easy access and full lockable. So your stuff is really secure. These open up, give you great access inside your shell. So for example, we got our Yeti here for all our drinks. Um, let's talk about inside the camper. So we got our Snowmaster 85 liter dual compartment. We have it as a fridge on the bigger compartment. Tons of stuff fits in there. And then a freezer in the smaller compartment. So like some of the fish we caught, ice cream, stuff like that. And that's on a alu cab tilt slide. So easy enough, I can do it one-handed. Christine's gonna demonstrate how easy this is. Boom, tilt slide so now you can get in it easier. Thanks, Christine. Yeah. Ice cream. <laughs> so back inside here, Charlie's dog bed. We've got a full-size jack, Not in there, our scottle. Behind that, our Red Arc Manager 30. Um, we use Titan straps on the side of the Go Fast Camper to do all our fishing poles and, and uh, jack handle. Um, pretty easy. Two more front runner wolf packs with like our snorkel and kind of water gear, kind of a beach umbrella. Uh, the one wheel sits in here in like a little crate and then can actually charge straight off the 1,000-watt uh, Krieger or 1,100-watt Krieger inverter, Husqvarna chainsaw, and a little hatchet um, on the truck. Below the Manager 30 um, control screen, we got another power panel, so USB and cigarette lighter, um, and then a switch for the lights. So... You'll see the lights also go up inside the tent. Um, Charlie's little dog bed here. Cool, so underneath um, we have a deck system. So we keep all our stuff organized. Um, usually the fishing box goes here, We've got extra parts. Got a full toolbox and then uh, one of their bigger boxes for storage. So they come with two different size boxes, toolbox and like a giant one. There's also dividers that you can get and like a little tray. Great part about the deck is that the wheels are actually suspended. So dirt and grime won't get them stuck and all that. They're also a sealed bearing. Um, and then you can also power wash under here uh, without anything getting wet. Goes on the middle, bottle opener for your beers. Other side, we got some clothing storage. We got the tray here that it comes with. We use compression sacks to kind of keep everything nice and tidy. And then another big storage box in there. So it's really versatile, customizable to whatever you want. Very nice. So for the Go Fast, um, there's actually compartments um, on the floor that you can go up in through or sometimes we'll put a stool here um, and we can use that as a sitting desk or you can do a standing desk talking about the go fast let's go check it out and then also we have these little rain fly mounts um, so that you can have the windows on uh, kind of poles um, instead of rolled up lots of options for whatever you want Let's go up in the tent. Cool. So on the tent, you can roll up the outside. Um, you could roll up the screen and the outside window together. Um, gives you both options. So inside, very roomy as you can tell. It's pretty messy, the kids. Uh, this is their room. So they got both their laptops, um, all their blankets in here inflatable pillows so they can close up inside um, we have both windows open as you see great view and good air um, these side windows open ash uses this one as a little storage for his stuff at night 
we uh, hacked together a little rope so at night they can hang up, you know, Ash puts his hat or Miles' glasses or headphones up there, carabiners. These are actually, um, let me climb up here and show you. So there's a slot on the inside of the tent. We found these Yak Attack, um, they're for kayaks. Um, and they fit right in the slot and then just tied a parachute cord across pretty easy So in the back we ran power So we have a switch for the inverter down here so The kids can do the inverter. They don't have to go down to turn it on So now it's on and then a power cable that's run from the inverter four plugs plus USB so they can charge everything um, and then, like I said, there's also a switch up here for the lights um, that they could turn on. So the lights are all in here, super bright. Lights in here, super bright, give the kids plenty of lighting at night. And the tent actually glows, which looks pretty rad. All right, Miles is going to demonstrate the compartments. Come on in, bud. Whoa. Hi. Huh. So, yeah, you can easily, they're light. You can take this out of the way and climb up in. Um, and it's split in the front. You can reorganize them, but it's split in the front so that you don't have to wake up the other person sleeping to get down if you want to use that at night. Ash, stand there and show them how you would use it as a desk. Um, sometimes we would have, um, like, a step stool here. Mm hmm But... Right now I'm just gonna stand so we would use it as a desk here yep. to either do school or play games. Awesome, thanks. All right, get out of here. Bye. Bye, Daniel. Bye, Mai. I'm staying here. All right, close it up for us. Show us how it's done. Cool, now open up the front big window all the way so you can see how that works air this place out there you go now great fresh air fully open get all the views let's go down see it from the outside thanks miles So yeah, really versatile, lightweight, durable, um, closes up and opens in like 30 seconds. Super easy, can do it with one person. Um, cool, so back here, uh, we got a C4 rear bumper. Um, you have space for lights back here. We don't have installed yet. Um, and they even have the little grommets if you wanna put your sensors on there. Hitch mounts up easy behind it. Um, you actually have your trailer plugs right in the bumper. We installed an Anderson plug to do DC to DC. Uh, yeah, awesome bumper, love it. Looks great. Lines up to the lines of the truck really nicely. All right, inside the truck, it's kind of a mess, but let's just show a couple things. Not much custom in here. We have these little uh, organizer bags in the back of each kid's seat so they can carry all their stuff. It's off the ground. We also have an inverter under the back seat um, with a switch right here that we just Velcroed so the kids can do school on the road and a uh, same plug system we have up above there. Um, and then just a nice simple cargo net up above for hats and sweatshirts, nothing much. Let's go up front. Cool, up front. Only thing that we've really added is a ram mounts kind of slide up here that we then put three ram mounts on, one for our CB and one for Christine's phone, one for Evan's phone or my phone. That's all that's custom here. Cool, so that's everything with the truck. Uh, let's uh, walk over to the trailer and uh, check out that. We'll walk you through everything on the new Turtleback trailer. Cool, so we'll do a quick zoom around of the trailer and then talk about all the details 
everything's a little bit messy right now, but that's the reality of uh, road life. So we're not gonna make it all fancy just for this uh, walk around video. Ash sitting here doing his schoolwork. Let's talk about this amazing kitchen. So with this one, you have two tables, stainless steel tables, a bigger one on this side, and a smaller one on that side that deploys up into the door. Spice rack here underneath. We kind of used a bungee to store our bigger cutting board. For cooking, you got a cook partner dual stove or dual burner stove um, so yeah, opens up two burner you got wind blockers although you don't even really need them because uh, this thing can cook under insane winds and it is crazy hot huge upgrade from our last one you have your filtered water here and this runs through a Guzzler H2O filtration system. Dometic sink. Um, crazy water pressure. Hot water is so hot it will smoke. It gets steam just from turning it on, which is great. A smaller drawer underneath the sink. Keep all our soaps and stuff. And a bigger drawer under here. This is where we organized all our utensils. Um, all this is made out of composite material great cleans up well strong lightweight up here you have two drawers one deeper one um, it's all customizable so you can uh, it's all slot track so these slots kind of go in and out and you can change it to whatever works for you um, and then up above you got another smaller drawer in depth same size though um, same slot system so you can figure out your own organizational system. Pretty rad. These drawers have one latch, so you don't have to do both sides. So you can do it one-handed. Pretty cool. I don't know if we could see inside here, but let's try. All right, so back behind the kitchen this is where your 42-gallon water tank is and your uh, water filtration system. It's all tidy back up in there. Um, secure keeps most of the dust out as you can see those turtle lights the green light so you can see your water level pretty easy so up front of the trailer you got your shore power hookup and then a pass through so that you can run power from here from your inverter um, if you want this is the battery box storage area so we put a ton of stuff in here we got our Red Arc Manager 30. All our breakers are down in here. A little holder we installed for our hammers. We've got a bunch of tools and uh, extension cords, inverters back here. Um, we have our drill charger kind of velcroed there. Three 100 amp hour Renogy lithium batteries. And then back up, we got an Alp propane generator. We've actually never needed to use it. Um, it works great, but we've never needed to use it, thankfully. Um, pretty awesome. Big storage area. Lots of space. This switch, if anyone's asking, is how you turn on the um, power to the inverter. It's like a safety. Uh, we leave it on, and then there's another switch to, to turn it on inside the command center. So this big storage box, kind of where all the command center is. There's diamond plate on top. You can actually stand on it. Um, very strong so this opens up dual latches that lock all our organizational bins this is the command center so we have a these are some of these are customizable they're left blank with fuses we have uh, lighting up on top of the tent um, four corner lighting so we have nice scene lighting at night this is your water pump safety security switch circuit so if this is off you can't run your propane stuff like that um, just a nice extra feature at night to give, keep you calm. Accessories, so this is all your USB power that's on the inside and outside of the trailer. Turtle lights are all around the trailer and light up also the water tank. 
kitchen lighting for the back, interior lighting, there's LED lighting all throughout, and then exterior lighting, there's LED lights all the way around the trailer. You have your circuit, water pump, your inverter, like I said, you could turn it on here, um, on and off, and then our Manager 30 controller here. So, as you can see, 16.3 volts of uh, solar right now, uh, 9.6 amps. We don't need to charge the batteries really because it's at 99% and just running, probably charging cameras and drone. These are organizational bins just from Ikea. They come in three sizes, the medium, this is small, and this is the big one. Um, full power plugs here, so you have four USBs and two cigarette lighters, and then we just did little stickums for our keys so we don't lose them. Cool, on the back of this panel, you have your water fill, and then you have two USBs out here and a cigarette lighter, so plenty of power on the outside. The same thing as on the other box. Your 11-gallon propane tank on this side. Also to note, we have the same wheel and tire set up as the truck, so they're interchangeable spares, which is great. So here on this side, you open it up, pass through storage, molly panel on the doors. Both sides have that. We have a custom drawer system that we built. Same latches as the outside. Allows you to get to all your stuff without removing things, which is great. Um, and then you still have all your space above for your storage. So we have wolf pack, a bunch of bags. Um, on the inside, we have our chairs. I'll show you on the other side. Cool, so same thing on this side, another molly panel, another drawer, all our personal or pantry items in here. And there's enough room on the side. You can see we have chairs and tripods and a bunch of stuff in between the drawer and the wall. More power plugs in here. We actually have two lights Velcroed up and those kind of charge all the time. Plenty of space. Like we said lights all the way around. Another LED here, and another one here on the outside. So above the kitchen, you have a big storage area. Um, you can see it's magnets, or iPhone just magnets up there. And then we installed like a little rope system to open this up easier, which we'll show you. And then this is a Harbor Freight um, paper towel holder. There's two latches here normally. It takes little bit of effort to do but we just put a cable here and you can pull it down so huge amount of storage it goes the whole length of the trailer there's a ton of stuff up there a table and all that fits up there we had the roof wrap rack customized to a taller height to fit a wolf pack so it fits perfectly in there snug so it doesn't bounce around and we go three deep and then we put on a parachute cable so that you could pull it out when it's all the way in the back and you don't have to climb up there and push it and then when you put them in you just leave the parachute here and they all go in pretty easy so to the side of that storage area there's a nice open bit sometimes people put like a tube there uh, put fishing poles and stuff we kept it open we use it down in Baja to carry 10 gallons of extra water it just allows us to stay off grid a little bit more um, Charlie's food bag actually sits out here too when there's no bears around. So yeah, lots of room. So also out here, um, Turtleback makes a great shower mount. Mounts right up to the roof rack for the tent. Um, pivots out. I'll fold this out in a minute, but this pivots out, deploys right in front of the shower, outdoor shower, so you have some privacy. Um, you got hot and cold water. And then we just use these bars as like a little holder for the shower. It's great. Show that to you here in a sec. Cool. So the shower swings open. You can kind of put it at any angle you want. Um, this bracket mounts right to it, as I mentioned, and then has like a pivot. And then any shower curtain can just mount right to it. Alright, so this deploys pretty easy. I can do it one-handed. Just opens up. A little bit of a breeze today, so it's going to blow around a bit. 
Cool, so a little bit of a breeze today, so I would normally stake this down. But yeah, there it is, full privacy curtain, little zipper so you can get in, shower. You got two pockets, kind of put your soap. And these bars are pretty sturdy, so you just hang your uh, towels over it. Changing room or shower curtain, there you go. All right, so let's talk about underneath the trailer. You have full electric brakes. Uh, we have the Timbrin suspension which works great um, they also sell an icon suspension kit and then the back you can see you have two stabilizers that kind of angle or go straight up and down keep the thing really sturdy uh, it's all coated underneath so yeah here's the wavion jerry can five gallons of gas these are great metal they seal up really tight so you get no gas fumes you can even put this, we used to have one in the back of the truck, but a great mount right to the back of the turtle back swing up. Cool, so let's talk about the tent first. So up here we have a Bush Company uh, Black Max. It's like a double clamshell tent, pretty amazing, allows for extra space. You can use it as a single clamshell or a double. Um, gives you a lot of extra room. I'll walk up there in a second. There's a rain fly. Um, on the front, uh, pretty easy to deploy. Um, let's climb up in. So you can do two ways, there's a ladder, and there's three mounts for the ladder, one on this side, one on the other, and also one on the front, so depending on how you have it set up. We actually have our tent turned backwards to make it easier for us so that the rain fly comes over the front instead of over the kitchen since we had the awning. Cool, so let's go up inside the tent. The Bush Company tent, very spacious, lots of windows, so you get views all around. Top windows keep uh, some of the dampness out at night. See windows on all sides, they zip up easy and then very warm at night. As you see, it's pretty tall. Cool, so we actually have the regular huge mattress it comes with. Plus, um, we have a foam, three inch memory foam, and the tent closes up with everything in here, all our blankets, all our pillows. We also, it comes with a light. We ran it to power. We also ran our solar up into the roof here. And then we also ran USB up in power into the tent so we can charge our iPhones and iWatches. There's a couple plugs up here. Um, allows us to have another place to charge um, yeah that's inside the tent closes really easily you pull those handles down and closes the back clamshell and then from the outside you pull the other one so yeah here's the view it's beautiful down here in baja all right so i took the ladder down show you something else we added so we added these little steps that allows us to get up without the ladder. Just another option. Use those two steps, put on a couple handles. One here and one up on the tent and you can easily jump in. On the outside, we're testing, prototyping a little idea. We wanted to uh, have an awning in case of rain um, to block us getting out at night. Um, so us and the guys at Turtleback came up with this idea. There's like a slot track on top and they uh, sewed this together real quick for us. So fabric slides in the slot and then you just use two uh, poles and guidelines. Allows you to get in and out during the rain and also gives you a little extra shade. So testing out, I think uh, working pretty good. Maybe a couple improvements on it, but I think it's a pretty rad idea. Um, we'll talk about the rest of the stuff attached. So we have our awning 270 Black Max series. Um, Bush Company awning, things insanely strong, sturdy, steel beam construction, very thick canvas, uh, goes 270 all the way around, covers the kitchen, and uh, deploys probably the easiest awning we've had. We've had a ton of different awnings. This one collapses in like a minute. Um, packs up very easy into a small bag and our awning is actually mounted directly to the tent 
uh, bolted straight through. So when we take the tent off, it comes right off um, with it. It's pretty rad. Cool, so that's our walk around. Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions, comments, ideas, hit us up. We're always looking for new ideas. Love to hear what everybody says. Thanks everyone.